Organizing data has become a much needed skill in today's data-driven world, and Microsoft Excel has become a leading supporter of these efforts. Excel is a common computer program that allows users to organize and analyze data. Many companies use Excel for record keeping and data tracking, but how useful is this data if you aren't able to organize it quickly? In this video, I'm going to share how to use the sort function in Excel to help you quickly sort your data. Let's get started. How to sort your data in Excel. For this example, I'm starting out with a data set that I need to sort. Here I have a basic data set of data points organized by columns with headers including company name, product, cost, and purchase month. Now before I begin sorting, there's one important thing to note. Once I start sorting data, there really isn't an easy way to go back aside from clicking undo a bunch of times. If I'll want to revert my data back to its original form, I can either duplicate my sheet to create a backup by right-clicking the sheet name, then I'll click on move or copy. Next, I'll click on create a copy and press OK. The other option is to create a new column to the left of column A. In this column, I'll number each row in its original order. To quickly number my rows, I'll number the first two rows, then click on the bottom right corner of the second cell and drag down. Excel will auto-populate the rest of the cells in consecutive order. For now, I'll hide this column, but I'll show you how to restore the data to its original order using this method later in the video. Before I move on, if you're finding this helpful, create or sign into your free Indeed account for more career tips, company reviews, or new job opportunities. Sorting options. Step one, highlight the data items you want to sort. Click and drag your cursor to select all the cells you want to sort. You could choose to highlight single or multiple rows or columns, or both rows and columns depending on how you want to reorganize your data. Step two, access sorting feature. It's possible to sort based on any header in my data set. There are two ways to access the sorting feature. The first is to click on sort and filter in the toolbar, then select the sorting options. The second option, the one I'll be demonstrating in this video, is to right click within the column I want to sort then go down to sort. Step three, select the header you want to sort by. If I want to sort by product, I'll click in the product column. If I want to sort by cost, I'll click in the cost column. I'll get a few quick access options like sorting by smallest to largest, largest to smallest, cell color, font color, and even cell icons. Step four, customizing your sorting options. For this example, I want to sort my cost column. First, I'll right click within the cost column, then go down to sort. I want to see the cost listed by smallest to largest, so I'll click here. Now my data is listed by cost in order of smallest to largest. If instead, I want to see company names listed alphabetically, I'll right click within the company name column, go to sort, then click sort A to Z how to sort multiple columns. Let's say I want to sort by company name and cost. All I have to do is right click in either column, go to sort, then click on custom sort. This window shows my current sorting order. Since the most recent sorting option I selected was company name, I can see that listed here. Now I just have to add the cost sorting option. To add another sorting level or sorting rule, I'll click on this plus sign at the bottom left of this window then I'll choose cost from the column field. The default setting organizes my data from smallest to largest, but if I wanted to change that, all I have to do is select a different option in the order field. And just a quick note, if your data set has headers, as my list does, make sure this button is checked. Once the sorting options are set, I'll click OK, and now my data is organized exactly how I want. But if I want to organize my data even further, I can add filters. Let's say I don't want to see November's purchases. First, I'll add filters to my columns by clicking the Sort and Filter option from the toolbar, then click on Filter. This adds small drop-down menus to each column shown as these small arrows. Then I'll right-click on the menu next to Purchase Month. Under the Filter section, I'll then deselect November. 
Now my data is arranged by company name alphabetically, costs lowest to highest, and it excludes any purchases made in November. To add or remove any or all of the filters, I'll click on the drop down menu next to the column title, and in this menu, click Select All, which will select all of the data and essentially remove any filters. For advice on how to list Excel skills on your resume, check out the video I linked at the top. How to unsort. As I mentioned before, there's not really an easy way to do this. If I duplicated my sheet before I began sorting, I'd simply click on the correct tab to see my data as it was first presented. If I use the numbering method, I'll need to remove all of the filters I applied before doing this step, or that data will still be filtered or hidden. With the numbering method, I'll right-click on the upper left-hand side of my sheet and select Unhide. You'll notice that the numbers in this column are out of order because when I sorted my data, the numbers stayed in the same row they were originally added. To revert my data set back to its original order, I can simply sort the data in column A. I'll right-click in the number column, go to Sort, choose Sort by Smallest to Largest Number, and voila, the data is organized in its original order. Excel is great for managing and quickly analyzing information. Luckily, these steps will help you uncover new, user-friendly ways of sorting your data. To learn how to use Excel and dig deeper into your data, check out this video right here. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to our channel. For more career tips, I recommend checking out this playlist. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.